Good morning. My name is Tom Ahart and I serve as the superintendent of Des Moines Public Schools. I'm sorry that I cannot be with you today in person. The topic I've been asked to address is, what are the primary things you wish every candidate or district patron knew about the district? What are the essential facts and why are they important to prospective board members to know? This is a tall order for a 15 minute time frame, so know that I will only share a small part of what I wish everyone understood about DMPS. So number one, our district is governed the same way that every Iowa school district is governed. There is a board of seven members, some districts have five, and one superintendent. In DMPS, however, the work of the board members as well as the superintendent varies greatly from other Iowa districts. Consider this, the median size of Iowa school districts is about 600 students. DMPS serves 33,000 students. In other words, we're about 55 times bigger than the typical Iowa district. Even the second biggest district in our state has less than half, is less than half of our size. What this means is that our board members have many, many more constituents with many more unique interests and agendas and priorities. It also means that we have many more schools, each with their own dynamics. We have a budget of over half a billion dollars and we have nearly 5,000 employees. There is no way for a board member to have the same level of understanding of each facet of the district than a, that a board member in a smaller district could have. Our board members still have just 24 hours in a day and seven days in a week with a lot more on their plate than board members in other districts. This requires our board members to be more disciplined and professional in how they organize and execute their duties. There are endless rabbit trails to follow if we choose to chase every distraction. Our board is most successful when it is clear about its priorities and disciplined in budgeting their limited time in support of those priorities. Number two, this is closely related to the first item. DMPS is large. It is important for board members to be patient with themselves in learning the district. It is easy to hear an opinion or concern from a constituent and offer a response that is inaccurate or incomplete. Our board members do well to not put pressure on themselves to know everything or feel like they need to have a comprehensive response to each question asked by a community member. In fact, there are some questions that even I need to research before being able to offer an adequate response. Board members are asked a wide range of questions that are questions more appropriate for the superintendent or his staff. Learning to direct those questions to the superintendent before adding more complications to the situation by offering partial or inaccurate information is a skill that needs to be developed and that saves time and frustration for everyone. Next, our mission. Our board has developed a mission statement supported by a set of student expectations. This mission and accompanying student expectations were developed with the community and revisited and revised a few years ago, again with input from the community. The district staff takes the mission and student expectations very seriously. Our board has worked very hard to keep our student expectations as the primary focus of board, board meetings. Everything the superintendent and staff do is tied to the mission and the student expectations, and we are responsible for them. As board members, you will experience attempts by representatives of groups that are associated with the work of the district, but that are not responsible for delivering on the district mission and student expectations. Especially in times of limited resources, these forces can be strong. It is so important for board members to keep first things first and keep the broader school community's voice at the forefront in deciding how to vote on various issues. Number four, the power of board governance. The superintendent and the school district has a new school board after every election. Every time there is a change on the board, new members or new officers, the board is new. The superintendent needs to adjust to each new board, just as each board member needs to adjust to each new board. This helps to illustrate the necessity of the board's governance policies. Especially when attempting to steer a ship as large as DMPS, the leadership team needs to have some predictability in how the board will operate. As I referenced earlier, despite changes on the board's membership, the mission and student expectations remain consistent. So the work of the 5,000 employees led by the superintendent, the board's only employee, is driven by the mission and student expectations. The superintendent can only be successful in the district's pursuit of the mission if there is consistency in how he interfaces with the board and in how the board conducts its work. In other words, 
in how well the board follows its own governance policies. The board's ability and will to follow its own rules has a tremendous impact on the success of the district. The larger an organization, the more important systems become. Number five, our district is about as diverse as they come. In addition to being by far the largest district in the state, it is difficult to find a more diverse student population in any, any district in the country. Three quarters of our students live in poverty. 22% of our students are not native English speakers. Our students were born in over 100 different countries from around the world. Over 60% of our students are racial or ethnic minorities. Our students speak nearly 200 different languages. And most of these students have families. What does this mean for our board? It means that what may work in other districts may not work in Des Moines. It means that many of our constituents may be very different from you. It means that the majority of students that enter our school system are behind academically. It means that pleasing everyone is even more impossible than in other systems. It means that keeping student expectations at the center of all decisions is even more important than in other school districts. And it means that board members need to know their heart and know why they have chosen to take on the challenge of serving as a board member. Decisions that in other districts are perfunctory can be more complicated in DMPS because of our resource challenges and because of our diversity. Number six, our comprehensive and innovative approach for accelerating growth for all students and eliminating disproportionate outcomes. For the last four years, our district has organized its school improvement efforts on four pillars, establishing a consistent instructional and leadership framework, developing a comprehensive multi-tiered system of supports, developing cultural proficiency in all of our staff, and moving all classes to a standards referenced system. And we have seen positive, though incremental, improvement. This past year, we embarked on our Schools for Rigor initiative, an approach which combines these four pillars and that will transform teacher practices. It will enable us to respond to student needs in real time and elevate the rigor of instruction and student ownership of their learning. This approach has been piloted in a number of individual schools around the country in a variety of settings with great success. DMPS will be the first to bring this approach to scale. Schools for Rigor has been piloted in six schools in Des Moines Public Schools this past year, with 16 more schools being added next year, and with all schools receiving this treatment within four years. The early results are exciting and encouraging. So why is this important to current and prospective board members? We are attempting a foundational change in how we approach instruction. We know that comprehensive systems change takes at least seven years and that change makes many uncomfortable. The superintendent and his team are committed to my vision of DMPS becoming the nation's model of urban education. Our board needs to have confidence in this direction and understand that not everyone is as uncomfortable with our current level of results as we are. We cannot maintain the status quo and achieve our goals at the same time. It is important for our board to understand how to support positive change and to stay the course with us, or as happens in so many organizations, the real promise of a change is never realized before the organization changes its direction. And finally, advocacy. Because DMPS needs more resources per student, because we have more needs per student, it is important for our board members to be advocates for our students and our schools. Our board has gotten organized and active in the last two years on this front, and I believe its intent is to continue down this path, especially in the political environment relative to public schools in which we are currently operating. It is essential that our board engage with our parents and other stakeholders to actively advocate for our students and our schools. I believe that boards and parents often underestimate their power in this area, but again, with clearly identified priorities and discipline to a well-articulated message, real progress can be made. Thank you for your interest in Des Moines Public Schools and for considering serving as a member of our Board of Directors. Enjoy the rest of your morning.